Hello everybody and uh, thanks for stopping back in and we have another freaky story for you today. Um, unfortunately this is my last freaky story. Well I got one more after this and then we're going to have to go into some normal stories. Um, one of the things that's changed is YouTube, you now have to tell them, is this video for children or is it for adults? And if you tell them it's for children and you put adult content in there, you can be fined over $40,000. The new problem is, if you tell them it's for adults and it's children's content, they can actually still fine you. So, at the end of every one of my videos, I'm going to take off all my clothes and dance naked. So that will definitely make it uh, not for children, and it would probably make it a comedy. But of course, just saying that, I'm probably got my butt covered. Anyhow, today's story. I moved into a house that was a bi-level. What a bi-level is, you walk in the front door, and you go up seven steps, or you go down seven steps. There's a big landing right there. And we pretty much lived upstairs. Downstairs was a, um, a game room and the laundry room. There was a couple of bedrooms down there and um, another living room down there. And upstairs was the regular bedrooms and the kitchen and bathroom, whatever. So anyhow, I go to, um, I used to be able to walk to work and now I had to drive to work about a half an hour. So it's about five o'clock in the morning the first time I noticed this and I'm up and I'm walking down the steps to go out to that to the landing to go outside and above the door all the way up at the ceiling on the wall but not not on the ceiling on the wall just right next to the ceiling was a round white light shining something was shining on it I said I wonder what that is a couple days later I'm going to work there it is again and uh, I was a little early, so I'm looking around. I'm looking for a beam of light. Nothing. Um, every once in a while, I would see it. One day, I said to myself, well, we're going to see if we can find that. I took a big piece of cardboard, held it up like this, put it up here, down here, over here, everywhere from on, on the upstairs part, looking for it. So then I went downstairs. It's just like a hallway that went down to a big opening. And I went downstairs. I'm holding the cardboard. I could not find what was making that light. So, this went on, and two or three times I took this cardboard, and I'm trying to find out, where is that, what is that light shining? It beca became annoying to me after a while. I was like, what is that light coming from? Day after day, I'm out there, and, and it wasn't there every day. Some days it was there, some days I wouldn't see it for a couple weeks, then it would be back again. I figure somebody's got a spotlight on somewhere, it's reflecting off of something and hitting up on that wall. Well, to get up that high, um, we had um, 10 foot ceilings and we went down seven feet or we went down seven steps so that's another probably five feet so it was 15 feet from that landing up to the top where that light was so I took a, um, a stool and a broom and I'm holding it up in the air like this trying to find out where I'm hoping that I could see the light hit the broom and I could get an idea where it was coming from well, I couldn't really get up high enough, so a couple days later I took a step ladder and I'm standing up there with the with a step ladder and I'm moving it all the broom all around trying to see put it right in front of it. And finally I put it right on top of the, the white spot and I still didn't see it. And when I moved my when I moved the broom, it was gone. I go, well, that's just the weirdest thing. So a couple days later, it's back. I take the I take the uh, step ladder. I go up on the step ladder. I got the broom. I'm going around like this with the broom. I can't find it. I said, "Get out of my house!" And I smacked it. When I moved my broom away, it was gone. I never saw it again. Don't know what it was. It was the strangest thing. But that, my friends, is today's true story. So that's it. Um. We are stuck. We're stuck. Stuck. We're not out traveling yet. Um, I have a doctor's appointment in two more days. Then the day after that, I get results from a biopsy, and then we are on the road. We'll be going for Christmas. Maybe I'll make some videos. I got a plan for Christmas. Then after that, we are 
either going out to Arizona court site out into the desert or we're going to hang around and go to the Tampa Super RV show and hopefully meet up with Blue Wave Odyssey and a couple other um, RV YouTube channels and then go with them out to uh, follow them out to Arizona so I don't know what we're going to do we haven't decided but right now we're still grounded we're stuck we're here all right I hope you enjoyed today's chilling bone chilling story and um, like I said it was true and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do I have one more story about something very weird in the house and I've got another story coming up about being out in the boat 30 miles offshore and you will never believe what we found 30 miles offshore so thanks a lot we'll see you on the next video bye